So the other neurons don't know anything's changed. Okay, I've just replaced one of your brain cells with this little piece of nanotechnology. Would you still be conscious? Yeah. Now you can see where this argument's going. Yeah, so if you replaced all of them. As I replace them all, at what point do you stop being conscious? Well, people think of consciousness as this, like, ethereal thing that exists maybe beyond the brain cells. Yeah, well, people have a lot of crazy ideas. <laughs> um, people don't know what consciousness is, and they often don't know what they mean by it. Hmm. And then they fall back on saying, well, I know it because I've got it, and I can see that I've got it. And they fall back on this theatre model of the mind, which I think is nonsense. What do you think of consciousness as, if you had to try and define it? Is it Because I think of it as just like the awareness of myself, I don't know. I think it's a term we'll stop using. Suppose you want to understand how a car works. Well, you know some cars have a lot of oomph, and other cars have a lot less oomph. Like, an Aston Martin's got lots of oomph, 